Hi there, my name is Jack and I'm part of the Papercut support team in the UK and today in this video I'm going to be showing you what to do if you exceeded your license limit in Papercut. Today I'm on Papercut MF on a Windows 2012 server with Active Directory tied into Papercut. Everything I'm going to show you today should work on Papercut MF and on Papercut NG. So you've exceeded your license limit. What does this look like and what happens? So we notify you that within 40 days you need to go under your license limit. Typically this is shown at the top of your dashboard up here and also every time you log on to the administrator interface. During this 40 day period this shouldn't actually affect the functionality of Papercut anyway other than notifying that you need to remedy this situation. After 40 days however we will restrict some of the functionality of Papercut. However all of your data and printing will still be active and working. Okay. So what if you just simply want to increase your license limit and you're not interested in actually changing the amount of users you have on your Papercut interface? That's totally fine. If you're on Papercut NG, you can simply go to papercut.com forward slash buy. From here as an NG customer, you can go through our steps and upgrade your existing license to allow more users. If you're on Papercut MF, though, however, you'll need to go to one of your authorized reseller, typically the reseller that you originally contacted to get paper cut and go through them to discuss your new license that you want to buy. In order to do this, once you've bought a new license, you can simply go to about, scroll down, and at the bottom here at register, you can then apply your new license file that you've been sent. One thing to mention here, just as a side note, if you are looking at increasing your license limit, that there is no limitation on this. You can have as many users as you like on Papercut and there shouldn't be any effect of performance. The only hypothetical bottleneck that you might get is down to the hardware or networking that you might have in your system. But what if you don't want to buy a new Papercut license? Well, we can help you also by proactively telling you every time that you go over your license limit. You can set this by going to Options and then Notifications. We have a separate video and KB article about how to set this up, but I'll quickly show you the section in which you would enable this. Down here in system notifications, we have the tick box, licensing issues. So much like any time that it will notify you when you'll log on, this will send you an email to the applied recipient address of any time that you go over your license limit. So what are some of the typical scenarios where this happens and how do we fix these? Well, one of the common situations that we get is where on-demand user creation is turned on. We can have a look at this in Options, and then User Group Sync. Down here we have the relevant section, and we've got three options. Create the user on demand, do not create the user and allow usage, and do not create the user and deny usage. If you're wanting to keep underneath your license limit, it might be recommended to do not create the user and deny usage. However, this will then stop you from effectively allowing you to have a guest access to Papercut. This can be particularly useful if you don't want to go through the whole process of creating a user in Active Directory, giving them an email address, and then syncing that Active Directory user to Papercut. So think carefully before doing this, but this is a common way that you can help get under this. Every time you create an on-demand user on Papercut, it effectively creates an internal user on Papercut. This is not included in Active Directory in any way, but it still counts as a user within the license limit. So one of the things you may want to look to do, if you've got old users that are no longer on your site, go to the user section, and then delete any kind of guest users that you might have internally. This leads me on to my second way of how we now get underneath our license limit. You can simply delete users or delete them through a user group sync manually. I've actually created an entire video on this, which you can see here. Two things I'll mention, which are in the video as well, is that in effect, you can get under this limit by disabling users in Active Directory. When you do a user group sync, Papercut will deem these disabled users as users that are no longer on Papercut and will remove them. So this can be helpful to getting underneath your limit. Another thing to mention is that the overnight maintenance where you synchronize against Active Directory doesn't include the delete function. So you can only delete users by selecting the relevant tick box on the user group sync section and then running a sync. This will need to be done manually. 
One thing I didn't show in my video, which I'll quickly show you now, is that you can delete users via the command line on Windows. The commands are very simple. You effectively navigate to this location here, put in this server command, and then state the Active Directory name or just username of the user. So in this bat file, I'm deleting student year one, one to five. Let's run this now. So here we've got our output from command line, and we've successfully deleted those five users. Let's go back to Papercut. So here we can still see the five year one users here. Let's see if it updates. We've successfully seen here that the year one users are now removed. This can be handy for any reason if you can't actually access Papercut directly and you want to get under your license limit again, but hopefully this shouldn't happen for you. Lastly, if you're watching this video and you're past the 40 day license limit exemption and you find you've been locked out of your Papercut admin console, you've got two options. You can take the option I described earlier and go to either papercut.com if you're an NG customer and get a new license upgrade or contact your authorised reseller if you're on Papercut MF to also get a license upgrade. If neither of these are an option, you can get a license exemption. In this, you will effectively need to contact Papercut once a year to prove that you're underneath your license limit on your active user account. We deem our active user account is that any user that prints at least once a year. Thanks for watching this video. If there's anything you're unsure about or you want more help with regarding with exceeding your license limit or getting back under your license limit, contact Papercut at support at papercut.com and we'll be happy to help you. See you next time.